a very good morning guys so hi today is 22 22nd of march 2018 and i have 10 words for you so if you're preparing for any exams any government exams for your jobs uh, entrance exams gre ielts or any kind of exams the english is very important for you as you all know so i have 10 most important words for today as and i uh, make these videos on a daily basis so i would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and share these uh, this video with uh, uh, at least two people two of your friends uh, now so that they get they also get the benefit okay so without wasting any time let's get started and you can read about myself here if you want to so hey guys without without wasting any time let's get started so our first word is posit so posit means put forward as if as fact or as a basis of an argument so for girls this girls uh, this is very important so just imagine you uh, uh, you are you and your friend are arguing on arguing on a topic and you have a very strong point so you uh, put that point in front of your friends and he uh, and he just uh, lost his uh, control and uh, you know he gave up because your point was very uh, very uh, very factual okay your point was very strong so he was not able to uh, disagree with your point so you can use that word posit for that uh, that fact okay so uh, the synonyms should be postulate put forward hypothesis okay uh, propound the endon should be disapprove disvove dissuade disclaim all these words are very important okay if you want to these words obviously you can use these words in your daily communication skills and which makes your communication skills even better and puts a very good impression uh, on a person with a, on a person you are talking to okay the example would be to get suggestions from for company improvements the firm's vice president has asked employees to posit ideas for ways to improve morale okay a very basic example is you to understand so let's get to our second word which is plank so it means a fundamental point of a political or other program okay so for hindi guys ek rajnitik ya anya karyakram ka ek buniyadi bindu okay so there is always there there is always a point okay the main uh, which which represents the whole idea okay a single point which represents the whole idea so you can use that this word plank for that point for example before the convention there was a debate over the foreign policy and economic planks okay so now you can understand the meaning the synonyms would be just chief point pith nub nitigrity all these words are very important uh, the endonyms would be shimra spec okay so there is always a point or if you have an idea there is you can summarize the whole idea in a single point so you can use this plank for that uh, point okay the next word is dole out so it means to distribute something to someone okay so uh, if you are uh, running an uh, running an ngo or you are a very kind kind uh, kind person okay so you, you probably you would be distributing things you can you would be uh, uh, giving charity to people so you can use this word dole out for that uh, that particular thing for example allocate a, po a portion okay dispense distribute pretends so all these words are very very easy the antonyms would be mis allocate reject withhold disavow or disavow okay the example would be i'll have the volunteers roll out pamphlets to the audience before i begin my lecture okay so as you can see in this picture there's a lady who is distributing the bags to the, to the children so you can use this word roll out for this particular uh, activity or this instead of using a normal words like charity or distribution start using roll out it will improve your communication skills okay the next word is unassailable okay unassailable it means not able to be doubted attacked or questioned so things which are which are correct which are based on facts they, so it the the these kind of things are not cannot be uh, doubted okay 
so you can use unassailable for those kind of things which cannot be doubted or which are which cannot be questioned or attacked okay so for example as you can see in the see in this picture there is a castle and there is a man who is trying to attack or invade in this castle but he is not able to do this because there is no uh, window or there is no door okay so you can use assailable for this kind of things for example synonyms would be uh, impregnable invulnerable impenetrable inviolable uh, indomitable okay the antonyms would be uh, unprotected conquerable penetrable assailable or uh, defenseless okay things which are which have a very strong defense mechanisms you can use uh, unassailable for those kind of things and uh, things which are easy to invade and easy to conquer and that will be opposite of this word for example uh, when the runner lo looked back and did not see anyone in the distance he knew he had an unassailable lead in the race okay so very basic example and easy easy to understand so if you like this channel please subscribe to my channel and share these videos with at least two of your friends so that uh, most of the people get benefit from these kind of videos on a daily basis okay the next word is volt phase so it means an abrupt or complete reversal of of attitude opinion or position okay uh, so as you can see in this picture uh, let me give an example like you have a very good attitude you have a very kind nature but sometimes you sh you show opposite of that okay so you might uh, in some circ circumstances circumstances or situation you might show things which uh, show attitude which is opposite to your real attitude okay if you are a kind man you might show attitude which uh, express the feeling of uh, uh, angriness or aggressive kind of uh, feeling okay or nature uh, or aggressive aggressive kind of attitude so you can use fold face therefore uh, that particular kind of situation okay so uh, basically uh, in a reverse manner okay so for example the synonyms would be reversal turn around deviate second thoughts reconsideration scruple the antonyms would be obdurate stubborn inexorable intransigent determined okay a very basic example but you can use this kind of this word for people who sh who show on different attitudes or the, uh, in different situations okay so the example would be energy experts said that the regulators proposals represented an extraordinary volt phase so very basic example these examples i usually don't uh, uh, explain these examples because i believe you guys can understand the meaning of these examples that these are very easy and easy to interpret and, uh, and understand okay the next word is compel so it means to force or to do something so uh, as you can see in this picture there is a person who there is a person who is forcing the person in front of him uh, to do or to move okay so you can use compel uh, for this kind of situation so you might have a person who force you to do task or in your studies it might be in your studies or in sports or in your life so you can use that this uh, this compel word for that particular thing instead of using word like bound constraint coits oblige dragoon you can start using word compute compel because it's very easy to easy to use and understand okay for example in some cases the government will torture spies to compel them to reveal their secrets so a very good example and very easy to understand i think you can understand the meaning of this word now so uh, the next word is fate accompli okay or they comply whatever so the meaning is a thing that has already happened or been decided before those affected hear about it leaving them with no option but to accept okay so there are things which have uh, or which has been which has already happened and you cannot change those things so you you have no option but to accept those things so you can use fed a comply for and uh, th those those things okay for the synonyms would be accomplished fact okay uh ex post facto re retroactive the antonyms would be prospective expected eventual anticipated okay the things which are factual
okay so a very good word to uh, to choose in your uh, daily communication skills okay or wherever you want you think this word is very is, is useful you can use this word okay the um, the next word is renege okay so do not uh, fulfill a promise in kar karna or chhod dena so uh, for example you your friend promised you to uh, to help you in a situation and then when the situation arrived he told you that he probably not uh, he can't help you for in that situation so you can use renege for that okay so for example we walk back town so pd8 cop out okay and when should be promise agree commit comply so for example i went to another car dealer after the salesman tried to then key on the low price he initially offered me so there's a person who went to a car dealer because the the previous salesman uh, uh, told him that he would not be able to compl- uh, to you know to do the same kind of stuff which he promised or uh, the he will not able he might not able to sell the car on the the price they uh, he promised okay so he tried to uh, increase increase the price now so obviously you would not buy a car if the person or the salesman do these kind of stuff do you would probably go to another uh, salesman okay the next word is grave so it means threatening a seriously bad outcome or involving serious issues critical okay uh, so uh, basically means uh, severe and very important okay urgent critical okay gambhir sangeen okay serious so f- f- i would uh, i would advise you to use if you use the word serious in your um, daily communication so avoid using this word because uh, now you are preparing for exam so these words are not uh that important for exams uh, perspective perspective so grave is a very good word so the antonyms would be trivial frivolous ridiculous light hearted jovial lively okay those things which are very serious uh, so then they are grave things which are not serious so they must, must be ridiculous light hearted or jovial kind of stuff okay so for example the currents in the river made swimming a grave task even for those who were skilled swimmers so a basic example in it is easy to understand so this is this was our uh, second last word the last word is rubble okay so i would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and share these videos with at least two people now okay so so that it can benefit most of the people because obviously there are many people who are trying to improve their communication skills their vocab so cuz i uh, bring th- these ten words on a daily basis now so it would be um, very good for me also and very good for you also okay so if you share these vi- videos and told, tell them to subscribe to my channel the next word is rubble it means completely destroy so as you can see in this picture there is a building who looks very who looks completely destroyed so you can use rubble for this kind of uh, stuff or things which are completely destroyed you can use uh, rubble for that and the synonyms would be ruined uh, wrecked ravaged uh, shattered demolished okay very basic words um, the sentence would be crafted preserved conserved restored okay so obviously very easy to understand for example a bomb to reduce the house to rubble so there is a bomb who ex- exploded and there was a house who uh, that rubble okay so these were the 10 words for uh, uh, 22nd of march 2018 i will bring more words on a daily basis now so would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and share these videos okay thank you very much for watching my lesson have a nice day